hey guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i wanted to do a day in my life where should i set you guys i'm gonna set you guys on my kleenex box but um yeah so for today's video i wanted to just take you guys around with me because we are going to the horse races so i've never been and i'm very excited i have less than an hour to get ready so i need to like hurry up but um i already started like my re morning routine so i just wanted to show you like i forgot i was gonna be vlogging so i just wanted to show you guys like what i'm putting on my face right now so recently i've been absolutely loving this um skin moisturizer i use this during the day so it's this avino absolutely ageless face moisturizer and it has sunscreen so broad spectrum spf 30 which i love um it's so nice it does not break me out which is what i love about it because you guys know if you've been subscribed to my channel that i'm very acne prone so this been this has been great for a daily moisturizer and then the only other thing that i put on my face before starting my makeup is my eye cream and this is at my absolute favorite i actually stopped using it for a while and i started using um the um, what is the other ole hangrickson the banana eye cream brightening eye cream but i just had to go back to this one because i love it so much so this one is the shiseido and it's the what does it say wrinkle resistant yeah so as you guys can tell i like a lot of like anti-wrinkle anti-ageless so you know you gotta start young so then i just put two little dots under my eyes like that and that's way more than enough like this oh my god this eye cream is absolutely amazing it's so moisturizing and nice i really like the ole hamrickson like i did feel like it would brighten my under eyes but it just wasn't as moisturized as I wanted it to be. Like, this one's just absolutely amazing. Like, you can even tell I'm putting more because I love it. It just makes my eyes feel so nice. So, those are two things I'm putting on my face right now. Um, I'm a bit blotchy because I got out of the shower. Um, but, yeah. So, we're going to make some coffee and continue with our day. Um, okay, so we need some coffee my sister or maybe her boyfriend did but they bought this new coffee and i'm absolutely loving it it's called coffee house we kind of already ripped out the label but it looks like that and i like it because it comes with a light roast a medium roast a dark roast and the colombian blend which is my absolute fa bleh, i can't even talk which is my absolute favorite so if i'm not doing the colombian blend i'm probably doing the medium roast so Right now, I'm just going to do the Colombian blend, if I can even find it in here. Oh, there is one. Okay, so I already have my coffee. Hmm, I already have my coffee, so... I was explaining to you guys like the whole why I'm going to this horse race thing while I was waiting on my coffee but then I ran out of like space on my memory card so right now I was making room for it and now I'm like really running late so um I'm gonna go do my makeup in the bathroom and then I mean I'm gonna go do my hair in the bathroom and then when I'm doing my makeup I'll tell you guys all about it so I'll be back okay guys really quickly um i'm waiting for my hair um curler to warm up um so all i have put is my heat protectant spray this is my favorite one from tresemme and then um i'm just using what is this uh an inch curler i don't know and it's gonna take forever because look how long my hair is you guys it's literally almost like like you can see better on the reflection like look how long my hair is also, I hope you guys can hear me because that thing turns on when you turn on the light, so sorry. But um, basically, I just wanted to ask if you guys would be interested in watching like an updated skincare routine. Um, so if you guys have watched me for a while, you guys know that I have acne pro skin and I've gone through a cystic acne and stuff like that. And ever since I moved here in San Diego, to San Diego in January, um, my skin kind of like... 
I started eating chicken again because I was um, vegetarian. I started eating chicken again um, and things like that. So I started to break out a little bit more and then it got to the point where I was like eating a lot of dairy and I got cystic acne again and then I kind of find a, um, I tried to find products that could really help my skin without having to like try to do Accutane or all of that which I have done in the past and I really found something like a routine that I love and that was it's working really well for my skin so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that there's a few products that I would love to show you guys I'm not gonna do it right now but give this video a thumbs up if you guys would like to see that updated skincare routine because I have a feeling that you guys will love them too so I don't know let me know just wanted to say that's real I'm gonna go back to curling my hair <laughs> Okay guys, so I put you on top of my polar camera just because there was no other way to film it. Um, okay, I'm really running late on time, but I did want to explain to you guys like what we're going to. So, as I mentioned in other videos, I work at a law firm at Antonian Miranda. Follow us on Instagram. I'm their social media manager. So, um, they're... So modern, the magazine Modern Luxury San Diego invited, gave us two tickets to go to the horse races today. And however, at work, we had a summit this weekend um, where all the like attorneys, attorneys, um, the partners, head of department, CPAs, all those people went, which meant that the partners nor like the higher um, my boss Elizabeth who is operations manager was not able to attend so she asked me if I wanted to go and of course I have to say yes like I've never been to the Del Mar horse races I've only heard about them um, it seems like a lot of fun so I thought why not I definitely want to go you know always say yes to opportunities and you never know who you're going to meet and um, so yeah so I said yeah and then I invited Mia so Mia's on her way. Um, we're both very excited. I don't think Mia has gone either, so we're very excited. So basically, it's just like a, a marketing event, and I'm just excited to like, meet people, see what the horse races are all about. Supposedly, they're gonna give us like a tour of the where they keep the horses. I'm I'm actually not sure if they're giving us like a tour of the stables or just like a tour of the like the racetrack. Um, and supposedly we're going to watch like the horse races from like a private box. So I'm very excited. I don't know. I really do not know what to expect. Um, but like, are we going to make bets on horses? I don't know. <laughs> I just really don't know. But so it's like, I have to hurry up because the drive there is like 30 minutes and we still have to figure out like where we're going to park and all that. So... You know, a lot of things are uncertain at this point. And Mia's gonna be here in like 15 minutes and I'm literally barely doing my makeup. I was just so tired. I stayed up so late yesterday just like cleaning and preparing. And I went to the grocery store like really late and I was just running all these errands. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup off camera. And then once I'm done and all dolled up, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit because I think it's pretty cute. Um, I'm excited to, you know, dress up. I really never have like anything to dress up for, so I'm pretty excited to attend and, you know, just have a good time. It's Sunday, so we'll see how it goes. So I'll talk to you guys when I'm all talked up. Okay, so I'm dressed now. <laughs> I'm dressed as well. This is Mia. Hi. Introduce yourself. Tell my us name is Mia. Three things about you. Um, I'm Pal's friend. You work at the mm -hmm. same place. And I was like, follow Tony Miranda. <laughs> and I like pink. Oh, yes, we can tell. I do like pink. <laughs> but we're just gonna show our outfits really fast because we're kind of running late. Um, so let's see. Let's see. Okay, so Mia, wearing a white hat. Yep. Some pearls. Appropriate for the races. Mm hmm Some cute pink dress. And some cute white heels, but she's gonna change into wedges. Mm -hmm. And I'm wearing this lack of color pink hat. This, I think this is free people. It's like a dress shirt, can't tell. And then the shoes from Target. And then that's it. Oh, and these earrings from Target. They're super very, cute. Very cute. Um, should I wear a necklace? Yeah. This is my grandma's necklace. I feel na naked. 
No, I, it's make? nice. It's like your shoulders, you know? Okay, so no necklace. Okay, so we're running late, so we're gonna go so head out and we'll talk to you guys in the car. Bye! Okay. Bye! We've arrived to Del Mar Fairgrounds. <laughs> Mia. Her hat keeps falling off. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since I've come here. The last time I came here was my fret, no, like my junior year of high school. Dang, it was a really long time ago because I was visiting my friend Danny and we came to the fair. With but not the horse races? Family. No. This is my first time at the horse races. I'm excited. So, Mia was telling us, well, telling us, <laughs> telling me, <laughs> was telling me that she's won so much money here. She always bets. She's Yay. a baller. Mm -hmm. Well, her boyfriend is. Yeah. She would me. bet like a dollar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, can you tell I'm a newbie because I didn't even bring money to like bet on horses? I was like, where's your cash? <laughs> my cash. I was like, oh, I forgot my cash. She's like, you're not going to please bet. And I'm like, that's true. <laughs> Yummy. It is a little windy, so I do feel like my hat's gonna fall. Your hat's much heavier than mine, though. Yeah, it is. My Joanne hat. Um, but okay, Lady yeah. Gaga. <laughs> you want know Lady Gaga's lip? Ooh. Okay. Well, we're gonna see what's up. Um, I'll show you guys when we're getting our drinks and update you. Hopefully, I don't forget. It's Mia's job to remind me to show you guys around. And yeah. So, we'll see how this goes. Right here. Okay, so now we're going to the Celebrity Suite. I like how it's called the Bob Hope Celebrity Suite. Um, look how cute this pamphlet is. Um, yeah, so apparently the guy that gave us the ticket said there's really great air conditioning, so we're excited about that. So it's which way do you think we're supposed to be in here? Oh, private party, you're right. This is nice. Oh, it's right here. The Bob Hope Suite. <laughs> Hello. Should we ask if we're in the right one? I think we're. So we're the first ones to get here. Look at this, you guys. Wow. This looks amazing. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm so excited. Hi, pal. Hi. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay, so we got some Bloody Marys. Cheers. I did a little dumb one. Oh, that was so sick because I'll have coming on the bottom. So, so far, you know, it's interesting for my first time. Um, we eat some good food. We, um, We're gonna, okay, we're gonna bet on a horse, two different horses, then we're gonna tell you one. Okay. So we're gonna, okay, we're gonna bet on a Lona at the top, because one of the partners at our law firm, her name is Elona, so we're like, Elona, it makes like, sense, right? it makes sense. Yeah. And then, and then <laughs> <laughs> so the next Explain one is called, yeah. Toothless Wonder and is it even focusing? There we go. Toothless, Toothless Wonder. And um <laughs> my, my boyfriend used to be toothless at one point in his life, so like completely toothless. And she's like, oh Jacob. He's an axe. Oh shout out to Jacob. So. He should watch this video. Toothless Wonder. <laughs> so you can see what he knows to say on I know. Just kidding, Jacob. So it would probably be a lot fun a lot more fun if you were here. Fancy also, shout out to Profession Nail. My Profession Nail. We got them nail. there. We got them at two different locations. So if you guys want to get your nails done in San Diego, I recommend Profession Nail by Friars. And mine is in Hillcrest. So, yeah. So, until 
like retouch our list. We should go to the gym. But we're gonna go place our bets right now. So should we just do that right now? Yes. Okay, we're gonna go place our bets. And we're taking you with us. We're taking them with us. Oh. Come on with <laughs> Okay, so this is Little Machine, English. <laughs> oh no, my sticker's falling off. So, we're gonna make a bet. Oh, it won't let me. <laughs> um, mm, mm, English, we're too slow. Maybe you have to put race. Oh, okay, race. <gasps> Just kidding, guys. We're not gonna be able to place our bets because yeah. we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Do we call it tenant? No. I don't know. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, this is a really bad angle. Okay. <laughs> so my, I think my camera died while we were explaining what we were doing. I don't know when it died, but if it did, I'm gonna explain. So we placed a ten dollar bet on the Horace Alona at the top because well we said that earlier right because mm -hmm. of Alona. Alona, yeah. So now we're gonna the race starts at two. Yeah. So now she got another Bloody Mary. What? Huh? Hi. Does it flip? Oh, it doesn't flip. Oh right. no, it doesn't flip. Okay. More, more outfit. Mm, she got another Bloody Mary, but yeah. Now it's gonna be almost two, and we're gonna see if our if our horse places. Our race starts in like one minute. So let's go. Yeah. So let's go. We're okay, we're in fourth place right now. We're red. Yeah. We're fourth place right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Alana. Come on, Alana. Update our horse did not win. <laughs> we lost. It was like sixth place. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> next time around. Yeah, next time around. <laughs>